Welcome Jaded World to vlog 19. Today is a special day. To may, today may be the beginning of the end for the 64 split. Today is the day that Vanguard motor cars are coming out here to view the 64 split. They have interest in purchasing it. The car was not listed for sale. They were one of the few people that have seen the vehicle on YouTube. Yes, they've watched a few videos and they've contacted me and have interest in the car. So um, I'm not gonna repeat the words of Ted DiBiase. If you watch the channel, you know what that means. So we will see what happens today. Either way I win, I'll leave with today victorious. Either they're gonna give me that number that I require. And I'll be happy. Or either they'll leave my car with me and it'll still be my car and I'll be happy. So let's just stay tuned. It is about 8.30 a.m. They're expected to arrive about 10 a.m. today. Once they come and go, I'm going to go to Cleveland, Ohio to pick up the park for the unusual suspect, which is my 71 Hellcat Cuda. So stay tuned. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, please hit the notification button. That way that you can be notified every time a video is dropped. So thank you and I'll see you shortly. Hey guys, welcome Jaded World. Just wanna get a chance to do a little chat about the 64 split. I bought this car maybe three years ago. It took me about 12 months to build this car. Um, physically, it took me 12 months. It took me about 10 years um, overall because I wanted this car about 10, 12 years ago. I wasn't in a position during that time to buy it. So I waited till I got in the right position to buy it. It was a, it was a driver when I bought it, uh, but I did the total, the total uh, restoration of it. Body off restoration, frame up build. Uh, everything is off of the 2018, 2019 Corvette. Uh, ZR1 package, suspension package package. SR3 is a custom chassis builder and he built me a 2018 C7 Corvette chassis. The motor is Z06, the transmission is Z06 2018. Interiors is a, is a ZR1 package 2018 interior. Every inch of the interior has been also rewrapped in leather. The car is close to 600 horsepower and got quite a bit of money into the car. I wasn't looking to sell the car, um, but I got the phone call and at some point, some time ago, I thought about it. I was debating about taking it to Bear Jackson this October uh, because I knew that the new Corvette was coming out. So I figured that once the 2020 Corvette would drop, I would risk losing money with this particular bill because I would no longer be able to say it's a new Corvette. Uh, so that's the reason why I'm looking to sell the car. This is just a testing of the camera because this is where the placement of the camera will be so that we can view the entire experience today when the dealership comes out. So this is just a test video and I figured I'd go ahead and make it useful and give you guys an update as to how long I had the car, what I did to the car and the actual reason for selling this particular car. The unusual suspect should be here soon, God is willing. We can make that deadline, we're getting close to it. I gotta go out here to Ohio. I gotta place a phone call at nine o'clock, which is nine o'clock now, to see what time they want me to come to Cleveland. They said this afternoon, so uh, I plan on leaving here soon as the guys leave my house today. So um, I'm gonna wrap this here and um, we'll get back with you once they get here. It was a driver, it was, uh, it needed nothing. 
what made me do the uh, overhaul, one is that I've always wanted one to do that, but his quarters, he had he had the quarters cut. Uh -huh. So I said, you know what, well, since he's already cut on the car, then this would be a good donor for me to do what I want. Also, oh, you, you built the car? Oh, everything we did. Uh, my builder is Pondy's performance. I don't know if you guys have been watching the videos. The guy called me, he watched a few jobs. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, I, I actually, one of my guys, I think, works there. <laughs> so, my wife, I know I do, but yeah, so that's what I, you know, that's what I do is uh, I've been dealing with uh, with this building for the last maybe 15, 20 years, you know, so uh, I build them, enjoy them, and then off them, and then yeah. the project. And that's the reason why this one, like it's not listed now, but I did have to have it listed on eBay uh, to kind of like fill the waters. Right. And I had it scheduled to go to um, Meekum this October. I have two sets of wheels that you can see. The other one is right. Okay. Our interior is uh, rewrap. Rewrap is another one. The, uh, added the 2018 seat steering wheel. Every other panel to the car is originally just in big wraps and leather and French sticks. Who painted the car? Uh, shop in Bucharest, Ohio. Uh, uh, Alan's Allen's Collision. Uh, he's the one, he's a referral from some other you know. Exactly. And he had the colors off of an Audi R8 Manhattan Gray Metallic is the actual color. And then, um, who turned the. Um, who is it? Somebody yeah, and it's, it's a it's a it's a well known guy that tunes a, with the doctor Phil, I think it is. A lot of car guys uh, deal with him. So Dr. Phil. Push up. I got goodies coming every day. Oh yeah. My car builds every day I have goodies coming. You're gonna drop it right here, how are you today?
Yeah, they usually don't last too long. I'm surprised that, oh, that yeah. red car. That red car. Uh, it doesn't have any front bumper. Um, I've been, I've been thinking. You know, if it doesn't sell here pretty soon, I may send it out to the body shop and have them put a bumper on it. Oh and, yeah. You know, you know how guys get. Oh, absolutely. Plus, you know, you so far. Get and I'm in the tight. Let me tell you real quick one thing with this car. First, have you seen the back after three tail lights? One thing with this car here. This car. <laughs> has the five, the five, and all of the eyes. I don't know if you're familiar with Evo, Evo, they custom. I designed this myself. Oh, yeah. Naked car, 64 split. You know, my brand, so I designed this myself. Anyway, but one thing with this car here, it has defied, it has defied, like it's been a new Rochester newspaper, uh -huh. the article when I had bones here all around me this year. This car here has really opened a lot of doors to me. It has defied all the odds because when I take this car out, because you see, I added a lot of things that really pay homage to the Corvette of all. C5 door handles, right. California style rear. I brought back like the Stingray, you know, it has the um, 67 hood. I added the, the, the split. I mean, so I've done a lot of things that people who purists, Corvette purists, are usually the ones that will bash. Right. They really appreciate so. Yeah, this is, uh, this is definitely cool. Yeah, it's a beautiful car. We put all these old school graphics yes, on yeah. about three years ago. Okay, yeah, okay. And yeah. like at Woodward, mm -hmm. driving down the freaking road at Woodward, people are running on the street. Oh, sure. And the thing is, this car was restored back in the 80s, so it really it needs Okay, just be fresh on that. Yeah, I I think this year I'm gonna send it in and yeah, have it fresh it up. It, yeah. But I mean it's it, people like freaking fall over the Oh yeah, it's oh, in yeah. graphics. Mm -hmm. And then you when know? you see that Vanguard, people know Vanguard. Oh, I know. Lot too, I know. I think the crew, the drivetrain is already in. The only thing we're doing now is we, all the metal on it was, what happened is I bought that car also three years ago. I sold it to the owner of the Cincinnati Reds um, three years ago. I, all right. Well, let's get this out. Okay. I've got it. Right, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, I was actually born in that Fort Hood. Okay, Fort Gordon's my father was. And I've been out here and bought this house maybe 